camera looking? Where's the camera? Here. All right, so um, this is a tutorial uh, that uh, Vasai and I made to show you how you can also... Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Sansar, Sansar. It's all about Sansar. This is a Sansar tutorial how you all can, too, create a world even if you're completely... Um, even if you have no training but an idea and a passion and an inner drive like me. No talent other than hitting the record button and talking. That's my talent. I bring nothing else to the table. But I can doodle. I doodled in school. All through my schooling, I doodled. And you have Paint 3D, which comes with Microsoft uh, Windows 10. It's built in, and you can doodle, and you can bring these doodles into the world. You guys see this? So this is uh, this is the world I made. Some stuff is made by Daisy. This entire world is made in Paint 3D. All right, so here we are. As I said, uh, Paint 3D is built into Windows 10 operating system, and it's it's quite amazing. Uh, you know, let's just do a new doodle here. You got the 3D shapes up here. You click on the doodle. This is the color that's that's happening right now, and then you just doodle weird stuff on your canvas. It's transforming the doodle, and you have it in 3D space, and you can manipulate it in 3D space. Okay, and then you can export it simply as an FBX. I'll call it weird. Oops. Sorry. Mac person here. <laughs> I'll call it weird and that's it. And then I would send this to Vasai. Before we move on to the example that we're going to use to step through the optimizing process and uploading into Sans, I want to show you a little bit more of a complex project. Complex in uh, quotation marks. This is my doodle dragster which is also completely doodled out of individual parts. All right, so here's the arm. I can take the arm apart. I can rotate the arm individually in space. I can copy and paste it, uh, stretch it, you know, uh, make it thicker like this, rotate it back, make it like really thick. And so these are all individual 3D objects that then are linked and exported. And this is this is how Doodle 3D works. Uh, again, I mean, I can make new hair like this, just paint it into the the canvas. Uh, purple hair, why not? You know, let's let's put it here. It's now uh, not. Um, it's, it's it's behind in space, so I have to uh, drag it forward and it doesn't ma it doesn't really fit the head so th so this is how doodle 3d works it, it really suits my my outsider art uh, sensibilities if you will um uh but now let's go to the asset that uh we want to use as an example which is a, a which is a very straightforward bushy tree that i doodled and that Vasai will optimize and that we will upload into Sansar. Here's all the assets that I made uh, that are already in, in Sansar. And for to, to show you this uh, with this tutorial, let's take the bushy tree and we'll just open that in Paint 3D. This is something that I doodled. It consists of two pieces that they, they're now linked. And uh, so this is this is the this is the tree, the bushy tree which I made and we would do the same thing. So after doodling this in Paint 3D, I would just export it as an FBX file as a bushy tree. And that is what I would send to Vasai and let Vasai do his magic. And that's what we're gonna watch right now. Pay attention, take it away, Vasai. Okay. Let's get the FBX file Dragster gave me and prepare it for using sensor. 
Since paint 3D models are very small in size, we'll need to scale them by a large factor. That can be done after importing, but it's easier to set the scale in the import window. Set the scale to 1000. Don't worry, that's quite normal for paint 3D models. You can also scale objects inside the scene by pressing S and either moving mouse in and out or simply entering the desired scale, for example, 2. Selecting objects is done by clicking right mouse button. As you can see, the model has a ridiculous amount of polygons for such a simple shape. If we upload such models to sensor, we risk having lots of lag in our experiences, so let's fix that. The easiest way to reduce polycount in Blender is to simply use the built-in decimate modifier. If you want to do retopology, you can also use plugins like Instant Measure. Either of these approaches will give you a model with much less polygons than you started with, and each has its uses. As a general rule, you should use the least amount of polygons that still retain the shape of your object. Let me demonstrate. Don't worry about the weird look, it will all be fixed soon. If we decimate too much, our model loses its shape, and we don't want that. So let's settle for something a little bit more generous. This looks good enough. Let's apply the modifier and move on. Side note, after decimating you can get some weird areas in image, like this area or this area. Of course it's best to patch these problem areas, but that's a wide topic. If enough people are interested, I will make another video and show the easy ways to deal with these problem areas. Ok, after we've reduced the poly count, we'll need to fix our normals and create UVs. Let's hop to the edit mode by pressing tab. Here we can control which parts of our models will look sharp or smooth. For this object, we'll want smooth normals everywhere. Just hit set from faces and you're good. As you can see, the strange patches are gone, because the polygons have proper normals now. Let me deselect so you can see it better. Now press A to select all polygons and then go to UV mapping. There are a lot of ways to unwrap UVs, but by far the easiest is Smart UV Project. Hit OK, and now your mesh will have UV coordinates. It will load up correctly into sensor and you can create textures for it in your favorite texture editing programs like Photoshop, GIMP or Substance Painter. Now exit edit mode by pressing tab again. If you have a multi-part object like this, you will have to repeat the procedure for each part. Select with your right mouse button, add decimate modifier, pick a level that you like. And apply. Go into the edit mode by pressing tab, set normals from faces, add UV map, and exit edit mode by pressing tab one more time. Ok, we're ready for export. Select all the parts, press file, export, FBX. Make sure to check selected objects for a cleaner file and save the new FBX file under another name. And we're done. Drakta, take it away. All right, thank you Vasai. Here we are in Sansar. Let's uh, upload the tree that we got from Vasai, the optimized tree. We're going to my world. Meet the Draxies. Ooh, and we're going to import 3D model. Let's 
these overlapping windows. We're identifying the model. I renamed it in uh, Bushy Tree Optimized one, version 1. I'm using the collision. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to use the collision mesh because that's not recommended. It puts a lot of strain on the system. It's better to use a, a, a collision mesh. Um, a very simple uh, 3D object that doesn't have a, a lot of uh, complexity. Uh, you know, then you can make it physical, you can bump into it and all this kind of stuff. Now what we need to do, we need to set a roughness map in the material settings and a metalness map in the material settings. This was provided to me as well by Vasai. For these two materials, these are two materials. This is the upper part of the tree, green, lower part of the tree, brown. Uh, same thing here, roughness map. Uh, choose and default map. And just in case this is too fast for you, this was in the material settings, right? So in the import uh, settings, it's in the material settings. So now we can import the tree bushy optimized version one here we hear the sound cue we're gonna look in the created tab here and drag out the bushy tree and it is huge which is good because uh, uh, we can go from there you know this is uh, scaled up in blender so uh, you know this is at scale one which is good because we can make it even bigger or we can make it smaller so this this is very nice, and here it is. Uh, yeah. Where should I put it? I put it over here, lining the, my little uh, my little uh, um, unter den Linden, uh, my little uh, boulevard here. Okay. So uh, go right to build. Scene must be saved, and that's it, folks. Um, going to take a little while but that's essentially how you how you do it and that's it that's the tutorial i hope you had fun and i hope you feel inspired to build something um just like we built with this um draxis world welcome well meet the draxis sorry meet the draxis is the name of the world in the atlas so check it out um yeah and let us know what you built and let us know if you have improvements to to this workflow or if, if you think there's something we should uh, incorporate into a future tutorial. This is just the start. I think we need to do more tutorials to really entice people to start building their own world. Dragster out. I'll see you Atlas Hopping, Draxwell's Radio Hour, Hover Derby. Mm. Also, I see you in Second Life, our digital selves. And if you'd like to support me, could buy something. I should put something out for sale. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get a salesperson. I guess. Gotta ask him aside. Okay, Drax, out. Mm -hmm.